Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 where today we'll be doing the best skins for every dinosaur slash marine reptile slash flying reptile in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now I want to keep this quite brief because we have a lot to go over but I do need to say some things to start off with. First thing is that this is my opinion, I'm entitled to that opinion just like you're entitled to yours so let me know your opinion down in the comments. The second thing is that this is the best skins in general. So some skins may look good on some environments, but not in others. These are the skins that I think look good no matter what. And the final thing is that I'm going to keep my descriptions of why I like these skins very brief because, like I said, we have a lot to go over. So without further ado, let's get into it. Our first dinosaur is the Acrocanthosaurus with the Amazon Rainforest and Papu Rana skin. Now the base skin does remind me of the one in Jui 1 um, and it just works well with the Paparana pattern. Worked well in the first game, works well here and that's the Acrocanthosaurus. Next up we have our Birdosaurus with Svalbard and Papu Rana. I just really like the way the pattern kind of pops on this skin it just looks really nice next up we have allosaurus with svalbard and poltrana i will say that this pick was tough but i again similar to the albertosaurus i just like the way the pattern kind of flares especially around the eyes here just looks really nice now for amargosaurus we have yukon river and papu rana i was honestly kind of disappointed with the amargosaurus skins but this one is by far the best in my opinion. It just allows the pattern to really come out. For the Ankylosaurus, we have Amazon Rainforest and Chalcarana. Again, it's just an interesting kind of thing with the kind of bluish green tinges around the face and along the, uh, the armor plates, I should say. And it just works well with the uh, the rest of the body skin. For the Apatosaurus, we have Limpopo River and Papu Rana. I feel this combination allows the pattern to be showed off the best, and that's why I like this skin. For the Archaeonathomimus, we have Limpopo River and Poltrana. I just really like this blue patterning down the back and the stri the blue and white stripes along the tail with this nice little pink bit along the neck. Something I did forget to mention before is that the skins I have in this video do not include any of the movie skins. So any of the, you know, predetermined things like T-Rex 9093, nor any of the variants such as the Giganotosaurus, uh, Dominion Giganotosaurus variant. So uh, just letting you know that. Next up, we have the Albino Barry Onyx, and for them, it is the Killian Mountains with Poltrana. I just like the Albino aspect of the Barry Onyx. They didn't have the greatest skins, but, you know, this one really stood out to me, so that's why I think it's its best. Heading over to the lagoon, and if I'm being honest, I kind of forgot about it, is the Attenboroughsaurus with Gambia River Basin and Poltrana. I think it just works well as a general skin, and in my opinion, it is its best. For the Brachiosaurus, we have Great Sandy Desert and Papu Rana. Similar to the Apatosaurus, this really allows you to see the patterning, although it is very faint. For the Kamarasaurus, we have Yukon River and Chalcarana. I just found this one really interesting. It's almost like a rusty bit of metal, and I, th I think it looks really nice. The orange against the bluish gray, I think it works really well. I don't use Kamarasaurus enough, really. It's got some pretty decent skins. I kind of am starting to see why people like the Carcharodontosaurus so much, because for this one, we have Great Sandy Desert with Lithobates, and I must admit, this was a really tough choice, but I just love the blue against the gray. You'll notice that's kind of a common theme in these skins, is when you have kind of a, not necessarily dull pattern uh, or dull skin, but then you overlay it with like a really vibrant pattern. It looks really nice. And uh, it works well for the Carcharodontosaurus here. For the Carnotaurus, we have Great Sandy Desert with Rana. I like kind of this ashy sort of look that it has. And I like how through the patterning you can still see the skin underneath. I think it looks really good. Next up, we have Ceratosaurus with Gambia River Basin and Rana. I mean, just look at this. It's crazy, but in a good way. I just love the pink, and I love that kind of... It's almost like a cosmic-y sort of color, like a, a nebula or something. I just think it's really cool. Uh, that's why it is Serato's best skin. 
Over to the aviary, we have Ciara Dactylus with Yukon River and Lithobates. I think, again, similar to the Carcharodontosaurus, you have this kind of, I'm gonna just say dull gray skin, but then it's offset with this really nice orange pattern. Something that you're gonna notice throughout this whole video is that the Ceratopsians have some really nice skins, and that also goes for the Chasmosaurus here with its Limpopo River Poltrana skin. It just looks really nice with the red and black on there. Most of the skins for the Ceratopsians come from what's on their head crest, and this just looked the best for the Chasmosaurus. For the Chunkingosaurus, we have Salar del Huasco with Chalcarana, and honestly, this would work really nice on the new Biosyn map, but I just really like the kind of way that the, boat, the, the pattern and the base skin just interact with each other to give a really nice look. For the Coelophysis, we have Limpopo River with literally any pattern. This was really tough, therefore I decided that any pattern looks good with the Coelophysis. As you can see, we got a lot of blank patterns apparently, but th this just works. It just works with all the patterns. And, you know, that's why I chose mainly the Limpopo skin, but with any pattern. Because even with this one, that like almost matches the same coloring as the base skin, still looks really nice. So, Coelophysis, you got some good skins. You've got some good skins. You can use a lot here and you'll get good results. For the Compi, we have Limpopo River with Pelophylax. Now, this doesn't really allow your compi to stand out too much. If you want that, I'd personally recommend the mangrove rainforest. But I just really like the blue pat- Oh god, there it goes. I just like the blue patterning down this one. I'm gonna pause it here so you can get a good look. I like the blue patterning with the uh, almost yellow stripes as well. Uh, just on the darker body, that darker green body. It looks really nice. It, it still reminds me of the classic compi with the green. It's just a bit darker and with a nice pattern along the back. For the Carithosaurus, we have Svalbard and Lithobates. Carithosaurus was tough because it just doesn't really have that nice of skins, but um, I, I really like this one. One thing I'll say, like a general rule of thumb, I guess, when picking skins, is that 90% of the time, you're not gonna go wrong with Svalbard. Svalbard usually does produce some really nice skins, and then the patterns is up to personal preference, really, because Svalbard, Svalbard just works. So, when in doubt, choose Svalbard. Next up, we have the Crytonosaurus with Amazon Rainforest and Chalcarana. If I'm being honest, I just love the red down the back. That is what really draws me to the skin. And the almost purpley for the rest of it, it, it just looks really nice. And, you know, it's adorable. It's going to look good with most of its skins. This, in my opinion, though, is by far the best. As you would expect, this next one was quite difficult with the Cryolophosaurus. On here, I have the Svalbard with Pelophylax and the Svalbard skin really allows the pattern to pop and it was just a it was really a matter of choosing which pattern i wanted with svalbard and ended up going with pelophylax just because i really like the purple and blue it's and and just like the little purple splotches down the side oh it's so nice such a cool dinosaur got some great skins but this one here is the best next up we have deinonychus with great sandy desert and pelophylax Oh my goodness, was Deinonychus hard, because the Lithobates pattern is also so nice. So nice, but I, I feel like this aqua pattern just fits this grey skin really well. And I also just realized how much Deinonychus sounds like Dilophosaurus, but uh, that's besides the point. Again, it just it looks really nice, even like without this blue bit. The, the skin looks really good. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I do not use Deinonychus enough when it has skins as good as it does. If only Dilophosaurus had the same awesome skins that Deinonychus has. It's a bit of a shame, but you know, it is what it is. What I have for the Dilophosaurus, though, is Killian Mountains with Papurana. I feel like the Papurana, just the blue and the like tinges of purple, looks really nice, and the Killian Mountains really allows it to pop out. So that's what I have for our Dilophosaurus here. For the brand new Dimetrodon, it has lots of nice combinations, but I really like Champlain Valley with Rana. 
I mean, it's got some really vibrant skins, but for some reason, my eye was just really drawn to this pattern here. So, it's what we have, it's what we got, and it is the best, hands down, in my opinion. For the Dimorphodon, we have Spalbard with Lithobates. This was another case of kind of just finding a skin that really allowed the pattern to pop. I'm going to be saying that a lot in this video. But for the Dimorphodon, this one just worked really well. The dark skin, the orange, this looks really nice. The best skin for Diplodocus is Champlain Valley with Chalcarana. I mean, just look at that patterning. This, this is why I like it. And, you know, this is going to fit in with most of your environments too. It's going to look pretty good. It's going to fit in here on the tropical biome. It's going to fit in on the temperate, the alpine. Not so much the desert, but still, you could probably make it look nice. But I, I just really like how the pattern stands out on this one. And the color is honestly not too bad. It, it feels like it suits Diplodocus. Draco Rex has Sonoran Desert and Paku Rana. Now just look at that. That really bright orange skin with the blue pattern. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so nice. And it just it works so well for the Draco Rex. Usually when I make Dread Nordis, I get some really weird patterns that don't look very good, but I honestly was pleasantly surprised with the Champlain Valley Hello Phylax. I really like this dark green on green uh, with kind of that orange border surrounding the pattern. It just looks really nice for the Dread Nordis. Now, Dryosaurus has some crazy skins, but I feel this one just has the right level of crazy. It is, of course... <laughs> The Yukon River with Lithobates. I will admit, this one was really hard. As you know, or as some of you may know, Dryosaurus is definitely one of my favorite creatures in the game. Uh, so picking a skin was quite difficult. I, I just really like this one. I like the kind of light-ish kind of green. I, I don't know what kind of green you'd call that. With like the brown in it. It just looks really nice. With the dark kind of bluish green skin. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Congratulations, Dryosaurus. You have some beautiful skins. Sungaripterus is another one of those animals that just has so many nice skins, but in my opinion, the Killian Mountains Chalcarana is the best. Just look at it. I, I just love the orange and the blue and kind of like the, I guess, grayish purpley color that it has gone down its body. Like kind of, a, I don't know how you describe it, like almost a brownie purple. I, I don't know. It just looks really good though. Now, Edmontosaurus does have some really great skins, but for me, nothing will beat the original Jurassic World Evolution skin. And for this, this is just Death Valley with Rana, and the head and the body patterning, it just works so well together. For our Euoplus Cephalus, we have Gambia River Basin with Papu Rana, and just like... Oh, I was shocked. This is so cool. I love this almost like really dark purple patterning with like the orange, uh, sorry, the dark purple skin that kind of fades into orange and then you've got the orange patterning running down the back. It just looks so nice. For the Gallimimus, it is Salar del Huasco and Papu Rana and I just really like this dark brown kind of orangey skin with the nice blue and purple patterning. But if you want something a bit different, Great Sandy Desert and Chalcarana is also nice. For Geostone Bergia, it's Svalbard and Chalcarana. I just really like the head crest. Most of the skins have a really nice head crest, but also you have the nice dark wings with the orangey red pattern on them. Similar to the Edmontosaurus, Giganotosaurus's Jurassic World Evolution 1 skin is just its best. I mean, Giganotosaurus was really hard. It had a lot of nice skins, but in the end, I just found that this one was the nicest. For the Gigant Spinosaurus, we have Salar del Huasco and Rana. And, you know, how can you go wrong with this? It's blue on green with a bit of orange mixed in there. It just looks really nice. Can't, can't go wrong. For Herrerasaurus, we have Gambia River Basin with Pelo Phylax. I really like its base green color and just with this kind of dappling over the top with the almost gray pattern, it just looks really nice. I really like it. Like Dryosaurus, Hamalocephaly has some pretty crazy skins, but in my mind, the Limpopo River Papu Rana skin is just the best. Not only do you have a nice orangey red color on the head crest, or do you call it a crest? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you have that really nice color on the head crest, but you also have a really nice blue pattern that is able to pop on the skin. 
that's not too insane that it kind of makes it feel alien like its blue skin does. For the Huayangasaurus, it is Champlain Valley and Pelophylax. Now, I got this in my Jurassic Park 2022 build, and I fell in love with it there, and it is, to this day, my favorite Huayangasaurus skin. I like the light blue coloring. You don't really see this kind of blue on a lot of other creatures in this game, but that light blue color on the green, similar to, uh, si uh sorry, similar to Gigant Spinosaurus, just works really well. I realized I missed one of our marine reptiles. It is the Elasmosaurus, and honestly, I was surprised with Elasmosaurus' skins. This was actually kind of difficult. But in the end, I chose Amazon Rainforest with Chalcarana because I just really like this turquoisey kind of uh, patterning along the back here with the orange skin. I thought it just looked really nice. It just works so well. You kind of get this top down view that's nice and blue, and then underneath get a nice orangey color it, it just looks surprisingly nice it just looks really good for ichthyosaurus the svalbard skin just looks great and what makes it better is the pelophylax skin i almost said papurana there it's the pelophylax skin just the pink and the purpley colors just look really nice they stand out really well without being too crazy which is what i like to see for the iguanodon we have amazon rainforest and pelophylax now blue and orange or yellow i guess you can say just works really well in this game and for the iguanodon that's no exception and you know they're not too crazy they're not too bright they're not too fluoro i guess you can say they just look really nice you know the skin speaks for itself really it's zebra skin also looks really nice i can't remember the combination for that though i apologize for the indominus rex we have limpopo river and poltrana now in my opinion limpopo river is its best skin and poltrana only just backs it up with the nice white stripes along the back not too much to say about indominus rex though for the Indoraptor, we have Yukon River with Papurana. Now, it is its base skin, but I think the blue just works really well over the kind of yellowy orange pattern that it usually has. But Indoraptor does have a couple nice skins, but I found that this one was just the best. For our African Stegosaurid Kentrosaurus, we have Salar del Huasco with Pelophylax. Another kind of green and bluey color going on here. It just works well for the Stegosaurs. It works well with a lot of dinosaurs. It works well for the Kentrosaurus. Now for the Kronosaurus, we have Killian Mountains in Chalcarana. But one that is equally good is Yukon River and Pelophylax. It, they just look really nice. Kronosaurus has a lot of nice skins, which is to be expected. Kronosaurus is by far one of the best marine reptiles in this game, and it's got some of the best skins to boot. For the Lyplerodon, we have Great Sandy Desert with Poltrana. And just, just look at it. Look, look at that blue patterning. Look at that blue patterning on the gray skin. I told you it's going to be a common theme in this video and uh, it, it just works. It just works. It works well for the Lyplerodon. It's worked well for all the others. For the Marodactylus, we have Champlain Valley with Lithobates. It kind of has that orangey kind of color, that green color. It just looks really good for the Marodactylus. It didn't have the greatest skins in the world, but I feel like this one really allowed the patterning to pop. And the green skin, it's not too bad. It's a monster. It's kind of got monster colors, you know? It looks pretty good. For the Myasaura, we have Sonoran Desert with Rana. Not much to say. I just like the kind of browny orange color that it has with the white stripes going down its back. Now we move on to a dinosaur with some surprisingly good skins. This was actually a really difficult one to choose. But for the Majungasaurus, we have Limpopo River and Papurana. It looks like it's got fire running down its back. And also the blue looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. The the dark pattern here, or sorry, the dark skin here, just really allows that fiery pattern to really come out, and it just looks really nice. Now for the Mementisaurus, we have Limpopo River and Pelophylax. Just like the other sauropods in this game, the skins aren't too crazy, but this one has a really nice blue patterning with the brown skin that just... It works really well, if I'm being honest. This, this is probably one of the best skins for sauropods, full stop. I'm including the small ones too, Amargosaurus and uh, uh, Nigosaurus, almost forgot what it was. But uh, yeah, this is, this is honestly really nice. 
Megalosaurus was another really difficult choice to make because it just has so many cool skins. But I really, really love this like dark, deep orange. This kind of, I don't know how you describe it. It's just a deep orange, I'm going to say. But with this kind of really dark blue and the black patterning, it just looks really cool. I really liked it. I remember, I remember popping up on the skin and just being like, ooh. Damn, damn Megalosaurus. It's got some really nice skins, but this one is the best. Metriacanthosaurus best skin is Death Valley with Pelo Firelax. It Metriacanthosaurus just has a really, really crazy pattern going on, and this one, it's got nice colors to go with it. Uh, that's why I believe it's the best. Minimi was honestly a lot harder than what I thought it was because it's, it's like a lot of these dinosaurs, it has so many nice skins, but I ended up going with Yukon River and Papu Rana just because I really liked how the skin made this head look with the really nice kind of pinks and purples and reds going on. It just looks really cool. For the Monolophosaurus, we have Sonoran Desert with Rana just because look at that it it's works surprisingly well this this head pattern here which is probably my favorite in all honesty works really well with this kind of orangey brown skin this looks really nice monolophosaurus had some really nice skin so now skin wise we have perhaps one of the most disappointing animals it is the mosasaurus with sonoran desert and pretty much any pattern because the patterns don't stand out on this animal at all I can't tell if there's a pattern on this one or not. I mainly chose the Sonoran Desert skin because it looks different to most of the other skins in the game. For the most Thesaurus, it's just... Uh, they could have made this a really cool animal with really cool skins, but alas, we have what we have. And it's a bit of a disappointment. Moving away from that disappointment though, we have the Mudaburrosaurus with Gambia River Basin and Pulch Rana. This is... Pretty much the exact same as the Jurassic World Evolution 1 skin. It was my favorite skin for the Mudaburrosaurus in that game. It's my favorite for this game. Just, just look at it. The, the colors are so nice. And just the white patterning really brings it together. But I find that if you use the Mudaburrosaurus skin, like any of the Mudaburrosaurus skins, it doesn't really matter. With the Pelo Phylax pattern, they're usually pretty good too. The Pelo Phylax is like a nice blue pattern. It looks really good. Nasudoceratops, what do you have? You have Limpopo River with Pelo Phylax. Just look at that nice, that really nice kind of light blue that's not like vibrant in any way. It, it just feels like it fits the Nasudoceratops really well. Just with that brown skin too, it, it's just really, it works so well. It works so well. Now for the vacuum cleaner dinosaur Nigosaurus, we have Yukon River with Papu Rana. I feel the Yukon River skin just allows the Papu Rana pattern to really stand out. Uh, I just think it looks really nice that way. The rest of the skins for it were pretty meh in all honesty. For the Nodosaurus, we have Champlain Valley and Chalcarana. Just look at that green with like the orange and red tips on all the spikes. It looks so nice. Oh my goodness, it looks so nice. It kind of reminds me of like some sort of plant or something. I don't know, but it just looks so good. I, ooh, 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 it looks nice. It looks nice. All right, so I'm going to call that part one of this video. This is Editing Man of the J here. Um, so yeah, that, it's a long video. It's a long video. Already 25 minutes and we're a little over halfway through. All in all, the whole thing took me about an hour and a half to record. It was insane. Um, and I honestly wanted to get it all done, like this whole video done in about half an hour, but it uh, looks like that's not going to be the case. So I'm going to make this part two. You're probably going to see part... Sorry, I'm going to make this part one. You're going to see part two tomorrow, maybe. I don't want to put any sort of like guarantee on that. So if not tomorrow, then the day after. Um, yeah, this just took way too long, but I really hope you enjoyed nonetheless. Um, so yeah, be, be, be prepared because you may get to see the finale of this one. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!